this has 29 uh, so the, the numbers are confusing because they're yeah. so close and it's going to right. explain the chemistry of the lemon battery and for the, so first we make two terminals one zinc with the atomic number of 30 this means that it has 30 protons and then Second terminal copper with the atomic number twenty nine. This means it has twenty nine. The name of the terminal <coughs> for zinc is anode. A N N O D E. The name of the terminal for copper is cathode, C-A-T-H-O-D-E. And we could use many materials that have the atomic number 30 or 29, but we chose a nail, for a galvanized nail for zinc and a penny for a copper because these items are easily accessible. A, a little more chemistry. Um, both of these are neutral, meaning that they have the same number of protons and electrons. And this one over here is called a zinc atom. And this one over here is called a copper atom. Um, now we need a, now we need a source of electrolytes. We could use anything: um, potatoes, watermelon, yourself, your conductor. But we're going to use um, lemon acid because. Is it's a great source for electrolytes, and that's what we need. Let me draw this. Connect. Draw this rectangle. Lemon acid. Electrolytes. Um. When we connect these, symbolically connect, connect it, then this begins to the zinc begins to interact with the electrolytes, and it then becomes ready to give up electrons because this is very sensitive to the um, the zinc is very sensitive to the electrolytes and it becomes ready to give up electrons. And for the copper, it becomes ready to receive the electrons. However, this can't happen because they are connected. We need a bridge to connect these two, zinc and copper. Um, today we're using the alligator clip because it has aluminum and it's easy to find. Nice. 
I'll draw a bridge. Oh, different color. And now it has a path to move um, to leave the zinc galvanized nail and head over to the copper penny. This is a fridge. Using the wire, when, now when this happens and the electrons transfer, uh, this becomes positively charged. Less electrons, this becomes negatively charged because it gains so many electrons. Now called a cation. For being positive, and this is an anion for being negative. Um, this statement and this statement are no longer true, so I'm going to go ahead and erase this. So the cation and the anion together make a potential difference between the two terminals. Um, another name for this in physics is voltage. Finally, my experiment shows that using the lemon battery, let me make a table, um, lemons on one side, voltage on the other, it gave me 1.5 volt. Using three, it gave me 2.6 volt. By using myself, because I'm also a source of electrolyte as Steve explained so I'm gonna put this side in my tongue and this side in my tongue and that should light up the bulb let's see however we do not recommend you to do that at home unless it is less than 10 volt Alligator clips. Alligator clips. Yes. Uh, one, two, three, four. So these five. are the alligator clips. Five. How much did we use? Five or six? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Five. Then we use. Yeah. <laughs> it's just first for STEM education. Simulation for STEM education. Sunlight Takes eight minutes just to reach your eyes 